Hi! In this short tutorial I want to show you how to use the Halftone Shader Pack for Blender 2.8. The effect is most suitable to the EV renderer because the crucial Shader to RGB node doesn't work with Cycles yet. But you can use the patterns in Cycles too, just with different input values like pointiness, ambient occlusion, a Fresnel node, a texture and so on. I tried my best to document the file, so in best case you won't even need this video tutorial right here. So first off maybe you may ask, why using shaders and not doing the halftones in compositing? Well, doing the halftones in compositing is a viable way, but for me there are three reasons using shaders. First, you can instantly get an impression on how your render will look like and you can tweak the parameters to your preference. In Eevee you can even watch your changes in real time. Second, you can easily use multiple patterns and mix them in all kind of different ways with multiple shaders without complicated compositing and cryptomats. For example, to make a look like this is kind of complicated in post. And thirdly, you can treat the halftone pattern like a color value which you can use for your shader's roughness, specularity, displacement and so on. In the Spider-Verse movie they did this with some of their shaders and it is a very popular effect nowadays. So let me show you how to integrate the shaders in your workflow. Let's have a look at this simple scene here. The scene is rendered with Eevee. We have a character model with a simple principal shader and a texture. There are two lights in my scene. Now, if you want the halftone pattern to appear on your model's material, the best approach is to append the materials from the plan file you've downloaded. Navigate to your file and append the material with the pattern you like. In this case I want the halftone dots. Now we can access this material. One way is to assign it to an object and copy and paste the nodes you want to use. But my preferred way is to add the node groups in your node editor individually. So now that we have the halftone dots material, I can go in the node editor and add the halftone dots node group. Like in my example shaders, I use a simple principal shader and the shader to RGB node as an input. For the vector input, I use the camera coordinates group. Now you can instantly see the shader taking effect. Now I want to mix the pattern with the texture I have here. For this we can use the color mix node and change the blending to our needs. Now we can adjust the pattern the way we want it. For the color mixing there is another way. Set the blending mode to mix and use the halftone output as a mix factor. This way we can easily manipulate the color of the pattern. Let's say we want the highlights of our model to have the halftone lines effect going on. Again we need to append the material from our other file. Now I can add the halftone node group and use the same inputs like the halftone dot group node we've added before. Adjust the pattern and mix it with your textures. Now our material looks like this. Of course you can go crazy with the patterns and use them for all kind of different effects. Offset the RGB values, make the next Spider-Verse movie or do extremely stylized renders. Enjoy!